it is next to Paul Inga. How come it ripped in half? His old girlfriend was in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> hey, What's hey, this hey. guy's name anyway? It's Freddy, Freddy Stroka. Stroka? Is that Polish? No, I think it's Irish. It's always been my dream to sing and act, and I feel like being in frame, my dream is finally coming true. This was when I was a baby. I was so small, I couldn't come home yet because my lungs weren't sufficiently developed. But when I finally did, my mom took me home in a shoebox. This was me when I was in kindergarten, and I'm sitting by myself for the first time. Before I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, well, there's been a lot of tragedy uh, in our lives uh, with uh, mom passing away, which was really hard on Melissa. Uh, my father passed away when she was born, uh, I believe on the day that she was born. When my mom was taken to the hospital, she said, I want you to be my rock. And it means I may be gone, Melissa, but I want you to be strong. She was always into the arts, I believe. Um, she always did love to sing. Melissa's involvement with the arts, I believe, started pretty young. A lot of times we would spend hours in her bedroom just singing and dancing. Going through high school, she joined the Madison High School Crier until she graduated. And then she was missing it a great deal, and then she joined FAME. When I came to FAME, I saw a group of people that were warm and friendly and just very eager to learn something new. I'm the newbie of the bunch, and I'm playing Jan in Greece. I love the part that I'm playing. He's one of my favorite characters. We're going to open the house and let everybody get their seats. You don't have to take the places for 15 minutes. I'll come and let you know more time. Right before I went on stage, it was like this adrenaline rush. Like, oh my, oh my gosh, this is it. You know, I hope I can remember my lines all right. This is it, this is, this is our time to shine. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here at Fame's Greece. my life in so many ways. It's given me the confidence to go out in the community and perform in front of people. And it's given me a place where you don't have to worry about being stared at or worry about your specific disability. You can just go there and be yourself and be who you are. I think Melissa, over the years, has definitely come to terms in her disability. Um, and even then has put it behind her. She, I believe, does not know that she's in a wheelchair half the time. 
fame matters to me because I love making new friends. You know, fame has opened up so many doors for me. And to have that happen is, is incredible. In her performance in Fame was the first time that I had seen Melissa perform. And my heart was just filled. I just saw her shine there and um, her smiling. And she was just in her element. Yeah. Yeah, I got oh my gosh, wasn't that fun? Yeah, with the eyes open. Performing in Greece was absolutely amazing. I did it. We all did it. Sometimes I, I want to cry. I want to be like, thank you so much. I believe that fame has, has given Melissa a, a, a vote of confidence in herself. She absolutely loves it. She thinks it's a gift into her life. It makes her extremely happy. She's always had a big heart, but now she really can share her heart with uh, multiple people. I'm very proud of her that she has finally uh, joined an organization that she is truly happy participating in. I just want to get that message out to people who love to sing and love to act that just because you have a disability doesn't mean you can't do those things.